So I'm on yet another adventure with Journey with Jay, who's holding the camera right now. And he took me to this amazing old tunnel. This tunnel was built in the late 1800s, 1894, 95. And uh, it's been abandoned for decades at this point, sometime in the 80s. And the weird thing about this is it goes underneath a cemetery. The tracks actually split in between the cemetery and then it goes all the way under there. There's been rumors of actual caskets hanging down through. I mean, probably not, but we're gonna see what this place, what this looks like in here. All these bricks came from, I believe, Fort Lee, New Jersey. Uh, there was a big brick manufacturing area there. And um, back before they closed this tunnel completely, when the trains would go through, they would go through very slowly as to minimize the vibration because there were actual bricks that were falling out of the ceiling, making it a pretty dangerous situation. Uh, so by sometime in the 80s, that was it. That was the end of it and then they removed the tracks, I believe in the 90s, right? Isn't that what you read? I think so. Yeah. Look at this, jeez. So you can imagine. And you see the rock coming through. Yeah, yeah, wow. So they, you know, you can imagine these huge trains, these locomotives coming through here, shaking, vibrating everything, knocking these things loose. You know, it's the age old question, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> so I did some research and the, act, the, the tunnel actually came first. Um, I thought it would be so interesting if they, if they had the cemetery and then, First, right. and then they were like, well, we're making a train right through here. <laughs> um, because it literally, the tracks split the, uh, the property. But uh, no, the, the train, I think it was built in 1894, completed in 1895. It, it cost it then, it was 1.5 million. Wow. In today's money, that's like $68 million or something like that. It's a one mile long train tunnel. Oh, okay, so it, about $54 million in today's money, oh. if my calculations are correct. I mean, look at that. Strange to think that only feet above this are uh, dead people. Oh, there's a good look at how thick the brick is. Just joking a little bit about the, um, some of the stories, the folklore of the caskets coming through. It's <laughs> probably likely not just because it's really solid rock up above us. And now another interesting thing about this tunnel is that it has like a, almost like a smokestack that's uh, in the center, right? Yeah. I didn't realize it was a smokestack. I just thought it was a hole in the, in the, the top for mm -hmm. to let the, the uh, steam from the exhaust from the steam engines to escape. Mm -hmm. So, because if it was completely sealed off, it would be, uh, they would die of like suffocation. Oh basically. yeah, true, yeah. Now I, I read that there was actually three of them at some point. Two of them had been capped completely, but the one that's left that we can actually look up inside and see this, the daylight is uh, in someone's backyard, right? It's this huge chimney-like thing. It's like yeah, the size of a house. It's big, it's definitely big. Yeah. All right, so we're coming up to the, that huge stack. You can see the light, the daylight shining down. So we're still about a, that's the end. That little dot is the end, which is about a, I'm guessing this is in the middle, so yeah. it's about a half a mile still. But you said most of that is flooded, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's see what this looks like here. It sounded cool too. You can hear the wind whistling above it. Wow, look. 
look at this. Wow, all that groundwater coming down. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, that poor guy didn't make it. That's how long this tunnel is. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool in its own way. Almost looks like motor oil, like even the, the water. It does. So the New York, Susquehanna, and Western Railroad used to use this. Uh, they used to carry coal from Pennsylvania up to the Hudson, out to the Hudson docks here, because we're not far from the Hudson River. Um, but it was used by other, other trains. In fact, one of the reasons why they stopped using it was the downturn in the, uh, the business in this area. I mean, if you're walking around this whole area, it's all um, industrial. And there was a big Ford plant or a big Ford dealership here at some point. That stuff closed down, and it stopped a lot of um, a lot of constant business. So that they just weren't using this tunnel as much. Oh yeah, look at this! Huge cavens. You can imagine coming through here on a train, one of the last ones, like the, on the last day, they were like, you're the last train. And it's like, make sure your hard hat's on. Yeah, you figure this is uh, well over a hundred years old now. You can still see the foot from the steam engines. Oh yeah, look at that. Good call. That's pretty neat. Um, there's a 20 foot pitch from one side to the other across the mile. So it has a natural good water flow. You think this is for water or you think there's electrical pipes in here? I'm sorry, electrical wires. I think it's for water. It just, it just seems like that's because there's that river here and I think that's how they're like, trying to drain it through this way. But yeah. I don't know, I mean, maybe. I don't know why they would using electric, especially having cave-ins and stuff like. Yeah, true. It's interesting that they chose to, they did a little bit in brick. Yeah, I guess just they knew where the weaker parts were. Yeah. Wow, look at that. This is like calcium, I'm guessing. Man, that's, yeah, that's cool. It's almost really like cool. It does. And I just noticed they have a little bit of the rail left in here that they never bothered to take for some reason. Oh uh, yeah, wow. That's a good size rock. You can see where it came off to, almost right up right there. Oh wow, yeah. That would give you a headache, huh? Yeah, I think I think you're right, Jay. I think that they are definitely doing something with this. They have big plans for this tunnel. Which I don't know how they're going to do that because of the brick wall, the brick lining. The, you know what I mean? It's yeah. the lining that was coming down and continues to come down. Look at this manhole open. Whoa. Interesting.
Yeah, I know. So this is the end of the line. Just wanted to show you this really quick. We didn't find any tombstones no. or any, any graves hanging down. No. Maybe next time. I, we, I'm sure that's just folklore, but it's interesting to think that there's literally a town. We were walking below, underneath the cemetery, underneath the town. Yep, right, and into an, it goes into the next town. Yeah. The neighboring town. Pretty cool. And it looks like actually they might be doing something with this, possibly. Uh, Opening up to the public, possibly. Yeah, maybe for bikes. They've done that before. Rails and put a trail through it. Anyway, hope you liked it. Thanks, Jay, for uh, showing me this. Check out Journey with Jay's channel. We'll see you in the next video.